YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Crypto J coming at you guys with yet another J Talks Crypto. If you're brand new to my channel, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. I do my best each and every day to give you guys the top picks in cryptocurrency. Guys, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. We're just going to dive into Bitcoin real quick and then we're going to talk about some meme coins that are really popping right now on Dex Tools. Um, so, Bitcoin, as you guys can see, we kind of talked about it earlier this week how I thought that this would probably be a fake out. And how Thursdays usually are the days that our market pumps well. It looks like we did have a test of this 42K range, um, but we jumped right back up to this 43 today. So this is interesting to see, um, you know, does it necessarily mean that we're out of um, this sketchiness? Not really. Um, this could still be forming a rising wedge here, and this could still be a bearish trend. It could just take a longer time to play out. So... Um, of course, I'm always bullish on Bitcoin, but um, I don't know. This is this is not looking super awesome on the one-year chart or on the one-month chart. It's still telling me that we have a long way to go. And as you guys can see, Bitcoin starting to slip back. So, uh, oh, are we going to see a big red soon, guys? We'll see. We'll see. I told you guys that Thursdays are usually the day that um, the markets move. So, um, we'll see if this was a fake out. It might be, this might be a retest right here. We'll see how this plays out. But guys, let's talk about some meme coins because that's why we're here, right? We come for the meme coins, right? We, we talk about Bitcoin, but we come for the meme coins, boys. So let's talk about what's going on in the meme market. As you guys can see, uh, let's see what our market cap is coming in at today. 1.64 trillion. So um, with the big sell off on Bitcoin, I told you that big red candle was coming. Um, but yeah, so $1.6 trillion market cap. Market's pumping right now. Um... A little bit almost a percent but uh this meme coin market is getting a lot of action so as you guys can see this is one coin that we talked about uh trump coin it's a coin that i'm still watching i'm still paying attention to trump because look it can be seen some more upside pretty soon this is one thing that i saw in the charts today um but you got to play out man got to play out we got to see some positive price action here 70 million market cap. This is still a very small project. This thing could have a lot of upside. It could also come down very fast. Um, it can also, well, I mean, I think that this thing has a decent amount of volume. So I do think that it will move. I don't think it is stuck. Um, but I think it has a good amount of volume because it's been trading on Dex tools now. As you guys have been watching now for a couple weeks. So um, this is one that I'm definitely watching. Also, this little coin, Pork. So I talked about this coin yesterday. Um, and you guys can see it's up 53% today. Um, and it, it seems to be getting a lot of attention. It's still at $300 million market cap and can be looking to have more upside. But I would expect to see a pullback at some point in time because these things just don't stay parabolic forever. You guys already know that. Um, so pork is doing really good. Also, you can see there's a couple forks in here of pork and other coins that are doing well because that's what happens guys sometimes these coins will be doing well and then they'll kind of make a fork of them like right this pork is kind of a fork of pepe right there pepe is also in the top trending coins right here but you can see it's pretty much the same and so people feel like hey i was i was a part of pepe or maybe hey i was late for pepe maybe i should see if i can get early on this little coin right here it has some good volume and that's as sad as it is, guys. That's the whole thought process behind it. People are not investing into these coins usually uh, for any kind of future. There are startups that are have legitimate use cases, but the majority of these meme coins, guys, it's like uh, shooting craps. It's like playing uh, roulette. It's like uh, hitting the slot machine. It is a there's a good chance that uh, you will lose money, but you could also make a lot of money. It's just it's just very risky. It's gambling, right? This is like, I mean, cryptocurrency is already risky enough, but this is like, you could put $50 in here and then come back in like 30 minutes and it'll be like $5. Or you can come back in five minutes and that $50 can be $500. So um, that's the market that we're playing in. And that's why I usually do not leverage heavy bets into a uh, market like this because the market cap is just so small and these coins are just so volatile So let's see if we can find anything else and I'm just doing this really guys in real time. So um, Whatever I'm finding right now. It's it's real We what I'm finding right now. Like I don't know. I don't know what's gonna come up. It might be a bad project Look at this Tate coin. What's going on with Tate, right? Wow 
okay, Tate's have a breakout. This might be a coin if, you know, people like Andrew Tate. The Dex tool seems decent. Um, you know, a lot of people making it making a big deal about Trump coin, Biden coin, all the stuff, but uh oh wow, Tate. So Tate, this Tate coin actually is not new. It uh it looks like they had I don't know what this is. Maybe this is a uh no, usually this isn't wouldn't be like a, a launch because usually it when it launches it comes down here and then it drops. But this actually did have a run up, so it looks like on the 24th it launched it hit its high on May 1st and then it's just kind of bottomed out since then um, and now it's starting to possibly see a breakout so I mean if let's see what the website looks like it's probably gonna be ridiculous um, and again I'm not a part of this coin or anything like that look at this boy wow wow okay they have a swap def so definitely we're not going to connect our wallet to this a thousand percent not going to do that even if we do decide to what yeah <laughs> even if we do decide to become a uh to buy this or if you like this project i would definitely a thousand million percent not ever uh connect to my wallet. oh he's okay they don't have you connecting wallet. they're showing you how in uniswap to find the token they're telling you that um this is a uh this coin isn't traded on leading U.S. centralized exchanges or frequently swapped on Uniswap. Always conduct your own search. So it's just giving you like a little disclosure warning on Uniswap. If this is a project that you like. But guys, I'm not saying that I like the project. I'm just just literally looking on Dex tools, trying to find you guys some hot coins right now, trying to see what's popping. Right? That's all we do. We just hop in and see what's popping. That's it. That's it. So let's see what's on here. I like looking at this six-hour chart. It shows good volume. I just started using it a couple days ago. Um, I think you could find some good breakouts. So you could find some possibly good entry points. Let's look at this one, Dork. It looks like it's getting some good positive. Oh, negative. Okay, so see, remember we talked about pre-launch? This is what happens in a pre-launch. This is why I don't get involved in pre-launches. This is why we don't talk about pre-launches on the channel. Because I'll be done talking about a pre-launch on the channel. And we'll all get in up here and then, ah, you know, like, so, yeah. When somebody ever invites you to a pre-launch, guys, like, honestly, just buy the dip if you really like the project. I don't like to get involved in pre-launches, but, you know, it's your money. Do whatever you want. Oh, look at this little coin that we talked about also a while back. Is it going to make a price jump? Oh, possibly, right? Look at this. This is one that we talked about. Oh, no. Doesn't look that great, actually. Um, This is why we look at all the charts. Oh, one day looking good. Okay, we're getting a lot of, and this is because it's such, such a small coin, right? It's five million dollar market cap. So this chart is gonna be looking crazy. You're gonna be seeing crazy stuff like this, man. But this is just how it works. Oh, this is a rising wedge, though. This is negative. So this is this might look like a fake out, actually. So big buy order that we start seeing the sell off and we start creating this rising wedge. This is not necessarily a good thing at all, actually. Uh, I don't like this trade, actually. Don't like that chart. That looks like a fake out. Now you guys know uh, kind of what I think I would look like. Um, this is another coin. It's been trending. Let's open it. Maybe some of you guys have seen this coin trending in a couple of my videos and got into it. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like. Okay. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Wow. It's been on kind of an uptick, huh? Wow. It really has been on an uptick. And this is one that, I, again, I saw, but I just didn't dive on. But it's one, again, that has been trending on Dex Tools. Um... Pretty consistently. That one's been trending also pretty consistently. And that's what you guys want to look for if you want to pick a winner, right? I'm not telling you which of these coins are going to be the winner. But I'm telling you that when you get in here and you pick your own coins, right? You are going to want to look for coins with volume. Coins that are having positive trends. Coins that have good entry points. And maybe if you're looking to save some money on a transaction, you might be looking into a blockchain outside of Ethereum. But... The reason why I like Ethereum, guys, is just because um, the re and a lot of people ask me this too, and I did say in my last video that I do sometimes trade Sol, but it's not as often as Ethereum, just because I feel like when the gas fees are so big uh, to get into a project, people are less likely to want to sell out of the project really fast, and so I just feel like the ETH projects are just tend to be less volatile as Solana projects. And a lot of the Solana projects too, they just don't get as large as the ETH projects. Unless they're like real blue chips on the Solana blockchain, a lot of those coins, those little meme coins that get started up, they don't really do well. They don't really 
um, generally get out of like 200 million. That would be like a lot for a Solana coin. And you guys have seen on this channel, we follow some of these little Ethereum coins all the way to the billions. So, um, for instance, Shiba Inu, right? We followed that all the way into the billions, right? We followed a lot of coins actually into the billions, but we'll see. We'll see what these little coins have today. It looks like the coins that are really popping today, I would say, is this little pork coin. Trump coin looks like it's popping today. And uh, shoot, I don't know. Do we throw a Tate coin in there? Tate coin looks like it could be having a resurgence, right? This is this is this just some manipulate? Ooh, look at that one hour chart. There's a straight straight line. Let's see what look. We like to check the transactions, right? We check in the transactions. Uh, we're looking for whales. We're looking for bots and smart contracts. You guys can see this is a bot slash smart contract, right? This is what the other YouTubers aren't telling you guys. This is why you should hit the subscribe button. This is why you should like the video so more people see it. But we're actually able to monitor these transactions here. This is what we love doing on this channel so much. So you can see there's some people. This guy put 32,000 in. He's a whale. Or 3,200 in. He's a whale. So uh, 3,200 would make you a whale in this game. But this is a sketchy play. This is still under a million dollars. Um, so... I don't know. Do with that what you will. Do with this information what you will, guys. Never financial advice. It's just the top trending coins right now. The top trending meme coins. If you guys like this video, if you want more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Also, guys, if you want to come trade with your boy Crypto J on Discord, all you got to do is follow me at JTalksCrypto on Instagram. I'll add you into our Discord, and you guys can benefit from being a part of a team. It's totally a free resource and I created that for you guys so definitely take advantage of it as a matter of fact in this video I'm just gonna put the discord in the video description it's only gonna be done for this video it's to get you more people into the thing so uh, feel free to come in there guys uh, please be polite please be considerate we try to keep that a positive place place for learning so if you're an experienced trader don't go in there and go down somebody that's new and if you're a new trader don't go in there and get frustrated that um, you're learning right now because it is a learning process, guys. It takes time. You're going to win some. You're going to lose some. But ultimately, guys, you don't uh, win without playing. So you got to play to win. Uh, if you want to come join us on Discord, I invite you to do that. Still follow me on IG, though. I'm still going to put the IG. I don't know. Maybe I'll do something special for the people that follow me on IG. Um, we'll see. But anyway, we'll cut this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.